1849, gold miners, gold miners would buy these right here. This is what the gold miners would use in 1849 to make their way west, get to California, and where they would start to sit there and chop and dig and chop and dig and, and, and pick, 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 pick their way to find gold. 1849 was a long time ago, y'all. Getting close to over two, or getting close to 200 years, okay? Close-ish. So tell me this, why in the world would my beloved nephew, Jake, who wants to do something productive around the farm and really win some hearts, really win some hearts over. He wants to put a water line. He wants to, he wants to make him a water line. He doesn't get the shovel. He doesn't get the pair of pulse hole diggers. He doesn't get the garden hoe, a garden hoe. No, he goes and he finds some kind of 1849 gold miners pickaxe. And Jake comes into my barn and he begins to pick and he begins to chop. And in that process, he cuts a power line. He cuts a power line. And poof. All. Say darkness. Darkness. Just darkness. <laughs> love me, I do love him. I love him. But who does that? Who does this? Seriously, who does this? Y'all, come on. Let's just go make this. Let's go figure out how we're gonna fix this. Okay, just come on. So I get a phone call last night from Sister Kim. She's concerned because it's it's a she looks across the pasture because we take care of each other here. She looks across the pasture and she goes, Lester, everything is dark. Your entire hill is dark. I says, Kim, I'm at Longhorn Lester's. Can you go check it out for me? So Sister Kim drives over here late to check it out for me. And she says, Okay, the good news is your barn dominium, the lights are working in there. They're also working inside your house. But everything else, Lester, is off. All of your lights are off. All of these lights are off. All the barn lights are off, and it's pitch black. And I'm like, okay, Kim, I'll figure it out. So I put one and one together, because that's what you do. You put one and one together, and I think, okay, well, I noticed that Jake was doing some digging yesterday. I also know that my power lines run underground. And I'm like, oh no, Jake was digging right around my power lines. Jake was digging around my power lines. Yeah. 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 I'm glad. I'm very blessed that Jake is not, he doesn't have hair like you today. I'm glad he didn't get himself shocked, okay? I'm just really glad he didn't get himself electrocuted. So I will, I will deposit before I withdraw. My deposit is saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that Jake was not electrocuted. Thank you, Lord, that Jake was not electrocuted. Thank you, Lord, that it did not short out the well. It did not short out the house. It did not short out the hot water heaters. It did not create any major catastrophe. And also, thank the Lord. The third thing is, thank the Lord that even in the pitch blackness, None of the animals were harmed. The kittens are fine. Al Davis is fine. Everybody's fine. Oh, they were probably terrified. They were probably terrified, but they're fine. Let me show you what happens. I never claimed to be a master electrician. Never claimed to be master electrician, but I do know a little bit about electricity. When I ran my power to the barn, excuse me, back up. Could you back up, please? I'm coming through here. Please, I'm just making a video. I need to come right here. Let me just go ahead and get down on my hands and knees and show you this. Just give me a minute. So I run power from the breaker underground. It comes up out of the ground over here and it goes to all the barns. 
power. Yes, I didn't use no conduit, y'all. I didn't use no conduit. I did it. I did it. I did it without conduit. I did go a foot deep. I says, I go a foot deep, I'll never have a problem. If I go a foot deep, I'll never have a problem. Never. I mean, what kind of problem would you have if you go into the ground a foot deep, huh? You wouldn't have any problems. Oh, Jaker. Oh, Jaker wants to help his Uncle Lester. He got, to, he got a great idea. I'm going to move these water troughs out here, man. Make it to where Santoro and Jolene can drink out here. And I can empty these out and not make a big mess over here. And that was a really swell idea, man. That was a good, good idea. However, to get the water lines from my well over to here. Hey, sweetie. Uh, Buckies, don't kick me, please. Yeah, at this point, Jake thought, I'm just going to bury this water. I'm just going to bury the water line, right? I'm just going to bury it right down in the ground right there. I'm just going to bury it. Okay. And that's when he got his 1849 pickaxe. That's when he got the 1849 California Gold Rush pickaxe. And he began to chop himself. He began to pickaxe. He began to look for gold across the floor of my barn. He didn't find it, but he did find my power line. So I had to retrace his steps. It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard to find where he dug. And I find where he spliced into my power line. And like I said, guys, I count my blessings. Thank God that Jake's not sitting here fried up, you know, barbecued up along the wall. Jake is fine. I also found... Um, a way to splice my line back together. I didn't have any electrical tape, but I had to use duct tape, but believe it or not, duct tape worked. I don't know how it worked, but it worked. And I got all my lights back on again. All my lights are working again. Thank you, Lord. You can tell that my horses did not sleep a wink. They they couldn't. They did not sleep a wink last night. Look at that. They did not sleep a wink. They were just exhausted. They're just having to keep their eyes up they're just trying to let me know that it was a very scary night it was a very very scary night and i know how scary that probably was being so dark so i'm real happy jake's back in town but uh could we all like just remind each other all the time to be safe when you're when you're out digging be safe when you're out digging, and if you are going to be out digging, you should probably use some insulated digging equipment. You don't resort to an 1849. A 49ers, y'all, it's the 49ers. Jake's a 49er now. But I will say something. I do want to say one last thing about this. I don't know if a 110 current could kill you. I know it could probably shock the heck out of you. But I believe that because of this thing having a wooden handle, whenever Jake come up and come back down and cut into my line, I bet you a spark shot through here, but because it's wood, it protected him from getting electrocuted. I don't know for a fact, I don't know this for a fact, but I believe that my pulse tool diggers are fiberglass. And unless he was holding on right here to the rubber part, he may have gotten shocked. So for as much as I want to sit there and say that, uh, oh, sorry, I've been having, I had breakfast with Al Davis. Could y'all just, anyway. So as of now, all my lights are back on. All my lights are back on. Thank you to Sister Kim for worrying about us. Thank you, Lord, for not having anyone get injured in all that mess. Maybe the lesson learned here, I should start putting all my electrical lines in conduit. I did here. I did all the way up to there. I just didn't have enough to run it underground, okay? I just didn't think a foot underground was gonna be a problem. Until people start picking for gold. Thank y'all for watching.
Life is always funner and gooder when you do things with friends.